Hello, you wonderful people. My name is Kubitz, and welcome to a mod spotlight of Tentapalooza for Campfire. If you don't know already, Campfire is a mod based in survivalism that basically adds a bunch of tents and other items that you can use. Tentapalooza is basically an extension of that. So in Campfire, you pretty much have two different options for tents as far as I know. You have the fur tent and you have the leather tent. But they're pretty basic, they're not super stylized, they're just pretty standard stuff. The cool thing about Tentapalooza is it actually adds a bunch of different styles. It also adds a bunch of different decorations too. So if you're like into the aesthetic stuff, if you want to kind of shift your survival gear around a particular type of character, this is a really good mod for that. For starters, it adds craftable different colored bedrolls. So you can choose from like four different colors of bedrolls, the standard and then the three colored. It gives you canvas tents along with a bunch of desert themed items. Basically, if you want to feel like an explorer, this is a really good theme to choose. It adds Ashlander tents and accessories. And one of them is actually themed in the, the style of vampire. So if you have a vampire character, it, there's like a little coffin in the, in the tent and everything. It's pretty cool. There's also the witch tent among other accessories. And also, you can add a pet bed, so there's like stuff for your pets as well. And last but not least, the conjured tent, which is kind of a new thing. I can't show you in-game stuff because my Skyrim's been acting kind of weird lately. I wasn't able to get it to work properly, but I'm going to use the screenshots from the mod page right here so that you kind of get an idea of what it does. It's basically like a mage themed magical kind of protection bubble. Anyway, they're all really cool. They're all really stylized. They're obviously used from assets in the game already. They're all craftable at a tanning rack, like you'd be able to craft the other things from Campfire. There are so many awesome decorations that are included. Stuff like cauldrons, stuff like knapsacks, these like trading table like things. They're all really cool, and I would not be surprised at all if the mod author chose to continue to expand upon this to incorporate a whole bunch of different themes. So this is just the beginning of the stuff that you can find in this mod. In my experience, it works just about as smooth as you can get Campfire to work. Sometimes placing items can be a little bit awkward if you're not on a completely flat sort of area. But there's not a whole lot you can do about that. All you gotta do is just make sure you find a flat space to put the stuff on. Otherwise, it's gonna kind of look weird. There are a bunch of different storage items. You can actually add shrines. And another cool thing is that you can have follower tents. So tents designed for your followers to go in. I can't show absolutely everything in the mod, but hopefully these images give you a good idea of what's included. It's pretty straight to the point that it's mostly for aesthetics. But the cool thing is, is that a lot of the items are interactable. And there's even an MCN menu where you can tweak different settings for each of the tents and items. There are definitely a lot of cool details in this mod, and I highly recommend it for anyone who's using Campfire or wants another extra aesthetic to add to whatever character is exploring through Skyrim at this point. And remember guys, if you download this mod and you like it, endorse it! That's about all I have to say, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing. And if you're looking for more Skyrim mod spotlights, you can click on the screen here. This spotlight is on Windpath, a quaint little player home. And the other one is on Equipable Tomes, a mod that allows you to wear belt-worn books that affect your stats. And that's all I have for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.